for Reeves costume. Holy fuck. So I am here live at the Super Museum. We had a special uh, surprise appearance from Kevin Smith, and I am giving him a tour right now. So oh my God. this is a There's super one of the exciting day. From Superman too. Yeah, and if you look up the, at the face, it's Sylvester Stallone. Uh. <laughs> so my dad did a lot of like craft projects in here and stuff. Oh, so look at the poster. this is my friend Blake Armstrong. He went to high school here in Metropolis. He did this. Yeah. Tremendous. Yeah, really good. Looks like those are some good. of the original crystals. Are you shitting me? <sighs> No. <laughs> it's crystals from the Fortress of Solitude. And then these are the flying miniatures. These were like miniature cars they used. Around here, this is Richard Pryor's jacket. Oh my God. Yeah, and that's a walking cape. This is a cape flapper. That's what they use? Yeah. Oh, wow. So that, you know, they couldn't just put them in front of a fan. And then this came from a a wax museum my dad used to work at, um, Movie Land Wax Museum in Buena Park. I don't know if I you remember, ever heard yeah, of it. Yeah, it was yeah. right across where we shot Clerks too. In so Buena my dad Park, worked right there, and they took molds of his hands, and so they used my dad's hands on a bunch of their wax figures. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah, so I always have my dad's hands. Yeah, he's all around. <laughs> yeah. sweet. Oh, and then God, these are all the other, the other symbols from all the um, Kryptonian guards and the different house families and stuff. Oh my Lord, how awesome. <laughs> yep. And then this is on Perry White's desk in Superman the movie. That's a badge, and that's like one of the first scripts from Superman the movie. That was used on Saturday Night Live. So they they no, misspelled I Lex Luthor. Did. Yeah, but I've never been able to like find that episode. That's crazy. And then the these were used in the Oval Office. Yeah. Yeah. So I know Jack O'Halloran, and um, I brought him out a couple of years ago and had him reenact that scene. Phenomenal. Yeah. And then uh, these phones. Oh my God, I remember those phones. Oh yeah, those egos and stuff. Yeah, the giants. Uh, these phones. Uh, the reason they have different bases, people thought they were making new ones. They were all unlicensed, and so they just used whatever scraps they had. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, belt buckles, some of the older toys and stuff. I did an episode of Collector's Call, so we featured this on there, a cinematic yeah. picture yeah. pistol. Bob Holiday, the Superman on Broadway. And how insanely thorough. Right? <laughs> in such a great way. Here's some oh, of our sports shiny, stuff. Man. Yeah, so we move Shut them around and I send pictures to Holly sometimes. Oh, that's sweet. She's awesome. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. wow. Feeling for fun. And then um we have a, a Helen Slater costume here. Peter O'Toole's sweater. Whoa. A prop coconut. <laughs> Part of the monster. Here's the, the bracelet. There's only one of those. Oh my god, that's nuts. And then that, yeah, that's Helen Slater's costume. And then my mom used to do appearances with my dad at like State, State and County Fairs. He would tour with the museum. And these are all posters that never yeah, came to, yeah, the, yeah. So some of them, uh, the text is backwards, or yeah. the pieces are just in they there. They call it greeking. They just greeking. Throw it in, yeah. yeah. And then there's some stuff from Smallville here. Helen Slater's flying pan, and then her flying harness is there. Oh my god! And then this is Kelly's. Kelly Bundy's Verminator costume. I don't know why my dad picked that up, but it, it's been in here and people ask what it's from and Worth married it. with children. He said that he did that because Lean, Jean LaBelle was the stunt coordinator at Married right. with Children and he was... On he was No, he was George Reeves' um, jiu-jitsu trainer and they were best friends. So there's a connection. And yeah, yeah. That makes sense. He was still doing stunts into his 80s. He just passed away like... Oh, well, six then? months ago. Yeah. And this is Kirk Allen's personal phone booth. So they rescued this from a theater, and then this was in his home. So. Oh, 
he gave it to my dad and donated it to the museum. And then here we have some Lois and Clark stuff. These are garage kits. They never officially made anything. That's one of Terry Hatcher's lingerie outfits. And then her Ultra Woman costume. Oh, shit. One of Dean Kane's costumes. That's how you know they're real, because they, they start turning purple over time. Right. Yeah, I've seen some of the other ones. I've got Warner Brothers, I saw the Catwoman suit, which is, you know, what's, uh... Michelle Pfeiffer? Michelle Pfeiffer's, and it's, it was made of rubber, so it's just... Like Breaking a down and... Ball. Yeah, and exactly. So like... That's like that. A, any a any of those rubber props... To, like, restore it. Any of those rubber props start deteriorating and breaking down. And then this I, was the uh, pilot episode boot, and so it's signed by uh, Dean Cain and Lane Smith. Look at that. And I always just knew Lane Smith from, like, son-in-law. So yeah. when he came here, it was cool because he, w he was on the show a big Elvis fan. So we had him sign an Elvis clock in that. And then this is from, like, a fever dream where Superman, um, he, he dreams that everyone's dressed as Superman in the um, Daily Planet. Right. And so uh, that was worn by uh, Tracy Scoggins. And then that's the wedding dress there. Oh, my God. And uh, Terry Hatcher's um, jacket they use for all the press right. for season yeah, one. Look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, bring her up here to Adam. Yeah. Really yeah. And then this is one of George Reeves' belts. Shit. But yeah, we would love for. DC and Warner to, to reach out and recognize, you know, know what the work we've out. put in. Insane. These are all the Molman wigs. Oh my god. Yeah. You won't see those ever again. Never, no. And then this was uh, one know. of George Reeves' breakaway um, suit pieces right. and his personal poker set. He loved to play poker and stuff. When um, Ben Affleck played him, he uh. called here and talked to my dad and my dad was like, um, you're, pre you're pretty much the same type of guy. You're not going to have to act much. Because <laughs> they have the same type of personality. And that's a colored suit. And then this is Jean LaBelle's suit. Because they used to do state and county fairs. And that's the only surviving bat. So he'd break bats on Superman. And they'd fight on stage. Oh and, my God. Yeah. How often? Mr. Kryptonite. And then this is the original Kurt Swan. He sent it when the Amazing World of Superman opened. Did and uh huh. <laughs> yeah, and so this Swan town became is, home of Superman and in seventy two. As well as the Superman wink mm -hmm. at the end of his issues and you look at the reader. We have an original Wayne Boring too, like a painted thing that yeah. I remember this statue. You woke up to an argument about my chili? Very kind I gotta get you back on the road here. Very behind schedule. Mm -hmm. Super? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the there.